Coastal southwest Madagascar is the home of the Vezu tribe, a people whose livelihoods are intertwined with the sea, including the fourth longest coral reef in the world. The Vezu are fishermen by tradition, relying on what they can harvest from the ocean and the mangroves for their survival. But where the mangroves end, the endemic spiny forest ecosystem begins. The spiny forest is home to a plethora of plant species, with over 95% found nowhere else on Madagascar or the rest of the planet. Another endemic resident is the rare spider tortoise, a tiny reptile whose entire range consists of merely 555 kilometers of spiny forest. This is also where traditional Vezu territory ends and blends into the homeland of the Mikea, an elusive inland tribe connected to the Vezu only through trade in border villages. The Mikea pose two threats to the last remaining spider tortoises. They slash and burn the spiny forest for agriculture and they make charcoal resulting in massive deforestation of the habitat. What's more, while the Vezu diet is based on fish, these easily hunted creatures are a major part of traditional Mikea meals. I mean, I For these already critically endangered creatures, who lay only a single egg per year, such mild changes in hunting practices may not be enough to save the species. By contrast, the Vezu have traditionally paid little attention to the spider tortoise, with many claiming that it is taboo for them to eat them. However, increasing levels of poverty, combined with rising population pressures, threaten to push more Vezu to ignore this taboo and to pursue spider tortoise meat as well. Through collaboration with Blue Ventures, an NGO operating in the coastal southwest, Members of the Vezu community are learning to monitor and protect the spider tortoise population and to celebrate its unique role in their ecosystem. Every month, a team of trained members of the local community conducts transects in the spiny forest. According to a new analysis, this remote strip of spiny forest is home to the largest known remaining population of spider tortoises, with nearly 20 individuals recorded per hectare at the height of the wet season which is almost 20 times the average density for the subspecies and 10 times the average for the species as a whole. Only eight remaining spider tortoise populations are known today. The team of community researchers seeks the spider tortoise in the same manner as the Mikea, following its tracks in the warmer seasons and sifting through the sand in the colder months. Uh, the spider tortoises are at their most abundant at the height of the rainy season as they emerge from their holes to feast on fresh foliage. Following a cyclone in January of 2012, surveyors found a record 99 tortoises in an area of 5 hectares. Yet today, scratching around in the sand and crawling through the mesh of spiny forest thorns, the team struggles to find a single spider tortoise. It is the cold season now, and the tortoises are buried in the sand in a state of semi-hibernation.
e missing e ngisane funwe funwe chei kano vela fairu tena ya lakimate nisan mame mane bde bke ku baiso mati several spider tortoise remains are found some trod on by zebu crushed and cracked and eaten by rats a vast scattering of broken shells are clearly the remains of a past Micaea meal. Mi poa kam zai yau la a pichin e ran le ti tane tui ket la i fa masa ke ngasa nai zai vare ne tau ni om zai tau ni om zai ka tui ta ta ni ngato su ka fe nai bakatu a la nai luane ri ngari a tumbu ne re tu hane nai a tuli ni ngua hane nai no a te ne re zai vare nai benga m zai ka. Nearly ready to call it a day, the community research team finally finds a slumbering spider tortoise in the sand. It is a male, 18 years old as shown by the growth rings on its shell, and a new individual for the team's records. The researchers go to work taking measurements as the tortoise sleeps, staying completely tucked in its shell. The shell is given unique markings with nail polish, and spider tortoise number 602 is gently replaced where he was found half buried in the sand. But despite today's success and the best efforts of conservationists, this may be the spider tortoise's last stand. The International Union for Conservation of Nature estimates that the species could go extinct in 60 to 80 years if its habitat continues to be destroyed.